I am Coach Josh Gary, joined by my broadcast partner, Mickey Falp, here at Firestar Pro Wrestling. And we have the debuting Duke O'Connor taking on the Wrestling Ranger here in singles action in Greensboro, North Carolina. And this Duke O'Connor, I've never seen him before. Man, he's a big boy. He's a hoss, as I like to call him. Yeah, he's definitely got a size advantage in this. You can make up for inexperience with just pure talent and strength. He's got that in buckets over the Wrestling Ranger. He just smacked a taste out of Wrestling Ranger's mouth. Throwing him around like a rag doll, and Wrestling Ranger hits to the outside to regroup. Duke O'Connor is definitely a lot tougher than any putty the Wrestling Ranger has faced before. Yeah, that's exactly right. I mean, Wrestling Ranger might have, might have got himself a little bit too much with this one. Oh, he said a curse word. Laying out the wrestling ranger with a big elbow. Whoa, oh, Big J's got to get out of the way. Takes a close line into the corner there. Uh-oh. Pulled him out. Nice. Oh. oh. Walking on the ceiling. Uh, big style and suplex there. I'm very impressed with this Duke O'Connor so far, Josh. Very much so. Using his strength and size advantage. A lot of youngsters don't realize what you know advantages and, and strengths they have until they get in the wrestling ring and take a couple punches to the mouth. But I think Duke's already got it figured out in his debut. Yeah, he does. I mean, he's really taking the wrestling ring. I don't think I've seen the wrestling ring get, get his butt whooped this bad. Before. Oh my God, he just tore the wrestling ranger's suit. Ripped it open, trying to get to that exposed chest. Oh! He got it anyway. Lacks a days of cover, Wrestling Ranger. It's gonna take a little bit more than that. Yeah, you're not gonna beat anybody like that. You gotta, you gotta put them shoulders down. Of course, not gonna pin them. Duke O'Connor in his debut might have a, a little bit of a false sense of control here in this matchup. Yeah. A little bit of a lax of days of cover there. Oh, boot to the face by the Ranger. Oh, uh, Duke catching him right in the center of the ring. Oh, planting him down. Oh, very impressive. The Wrestling Ranger was able to get his shoulder up. Now, one thing we always give the Wrestling Ranger, no matter how hard he gets hit, no matter how bad he gets beat, he always finds a way to fight back. And he's, he's one of the most resilient guys on the Firestar Wrestling roster. If he gets beat enough, he may turn into the Green Ranger. Well, you know, St. Patrick's Day is only like, what, eight months away? Duke O'Connor setting up the Wrestling Ranger, sends him across the ring. Ooh, big deep is good. Oh, sets him up. Wrestling Ranger able to get out of it, comes off the ropes and catches him. Nice little crucifix. Oh, oh and the Wrestling Ranger. He got him. The Wrestling Ranger able to get the one, two, three on the debuting Duke O'Connor, and Duke is not happy laying out Big J. Oh my God, what is he about to do? What is he about to do? Oh my, he just- He's tearing the, tearing the suit off of the Wrestling Ranger. Oh my God, wow. One of the most disrespectful things you can do right there. Full Nelson slam right in the center of the ring. Talk about bad sportsmanship. I don't think he's done yet, Josh. I see that happen a lot in pro wrestling. Some of these youngsters come in with a sense of entitlement and get extremely upset when they lose their debut, thinking that the world of professional wrestling should be handed to them. And Duke O'Connor starting off on the wrong foot here at Firestar Pro Wrestling. But... Very impressed with Duke O'Connor. 